It's been Mesa. A minute. It's been a minute. I should not. What? What's up? What's are, are you looking forward to playing Cyberpunk this month? Oh no! Um, Don't yeah, me. Yes, yes, I am. I <laughs> I, well, I pre-ordered and everything. Well, I have news for you. Too fucking oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> Cyberpunk, the highly anticipated and recently embroiled in both crunch and transphobic controversy, has announced yet again another delay. Uh, this most which, recent which we movie. talked about earlier, which is because screams, QA stuff. It was, yeah. yeah, screams. Uh, um, compliance. Yeah, so it's it's been set back by three weeks, which is so the current release date, which. I would not be surprised if it gets pushed back yet, yet again, is uh, currently December 10th. And this kind of falls on the heels of um, them announcing that the title had gone gold, meaning that the title had successfully passed certification through both uh, Microsoft and Sony. But as uh, Sarah and Mesa have brought up, uh, the, the core of the issue seems to be they, they're having a lot of issues bringing it up to snuff on, on current gen consoles, specifically the launch Xbox and uh, PS4. That just goes to show how good the launch consoles are anymore. It needs to power the Kinect. If you plug in the Kinect, it'll it'll run fine. Mm. Run the game by Kinect. Uh, Keanu Reeves speaks to you via the Kinect. But uh, even aside from... secret, you have to plug in the the Kinect, and and he doesn't say that. You plug it in, he'll speak to you. (laughs) But uh, even aside from... um... The issues that they're having with, Watch the, with TV those specific with Keanu consoles. Reeves by putting it in the HDMI <laughs> in your Xbox. <laughs> D- that's dude. That's like that's like a dream though. <laughs> Just to watch TV with Keanu. Reeves. I was so happy when I saw that Keanu Reeves fucking coloring book. I'm like, oh damn, this is cool. They got Jason Momoa. They got Idris Elba. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then, uh, and then one of us Keanu already Reeves. had one. <laughs> Someone already had one and colored it in. I won't name who. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I just love Keanu, man. He is he is the definition he's, of he's a, a good, good boy, a good bean. Yeah, so I mean, Keanu Reeves, big chunk is four twenty one hundred. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just just the constant delays with Cyberpunk. Like I, I think someone put together a little graphic. It's been delayed what four or five times, and mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's just indicative of like extremely poor production management and at a uh, at an at a higher level, yeah. and it, and it just that just constantly results in both you know fans being disappointed as well as um, the development team just co- just consistently having to go into crunch just time and time again because usually I'm on the forefront of the of the side of uh, it's fine to delay a game I I'd rather want a higher quality product than a buggy one but the side effect of that isn't like oh yeah now the devs can relax and take their time with the product it it results in usually the opposite. Where they go into full on crunch mode. I was about to um, say it was uh uh was it Shigure Miyamoto who said mm-hmm. that 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 meme quote where it's like a bad game is bad forever, but a delayed game what was the end part of it? It was something online to like a delayed it, game is I, um, I can't remember a, the rest it's of a, it. It's, um, it's, I know the quote like, you're talking about. Um um uh, a delayed game could eventually get a bad game is bad forever. So yeah. Exactly. And but but to Nintendo's credit, they actually have good um working conditions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they they, they don't like crunch. When, when you were talking about delaying, that was what came to mind. Mm-hmm. Was you know that what? was that quote? Kudos to Nintendo for being pro labor. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, by all <laughs> Yeah, accounts, the games take forever. <laughs> oh well, fuck accounts, it. They 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 treat all their employees very well. If you've seen like some of their like um uh like their like the employee like uh uh, uh like uh, information that they're able to receive, especially in like um in America's it's very pro LGBT, pro mm-hmm. pro everything. They they donate tons of money to like local pride stuff without saying a word. It's it's great. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. The only thing I would say about Nintendo uh working and announcing stuff is I feel like they announce shit too early. Especially because they announced, you know, the Breath of the Wild sequel, and then it went silent. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, yeah, I but mean, there, there, there are rumors for why, but um, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of over the mind. Like, it's fine to announce it. I, I'll probably for not forget that the, that it exists, but I won't wind up getting excited until it actually has a release date. Mm-hmm. So, no, no, it, it I, doesn't bother me too I much. Feel that I just always yeah. think like like when they announced the Switch, there's a bunch of Switch games. 
that they announced on like the day that they announced the switch like no more heroes like 2.5 they're like hey we're, we're doing this and then that spongebob like five years later <laughs> <it's just laughs> here. i mean like, i mean let's talk about smt5 like uh let's also talk about bayonetta 3 <laughs> that one yeah it's yeah i mean i'm not like i'm definitely not defending cd project but i think the act of revealing something too well, early or revealing yeah. something really early definitely needs to stop well, well, for and me, i the... talk shit about bethesda all the time but at least they give like solid release dates when they announce stuff i mean let's not oh, yeah cyberpunk's like, a bad like bad version to talk about it was announced in what 2010 2011 Te- technically so. that far back yeah, yeah. But, like, my core of the issue is that, like, you can announce that it exists and that you're working on it, like, years ahead of time. Like, that doesn't bother me. It's specifically putting a launch date that you know for a damn fact you can't fucking meet. Like, mm-hmm. well, like plan. They couldn't meet it. Like, yeah. I mean, but for, for production mm-hmm. tables, you always have to plan for, for hurdles, whether it's film production, yeah. whether it, especially mm-hmm. game production where a million things could go wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, if, like if, if, if you think, like, hey, I can get this done in a year. Uh, you might as well add another eight months because there's going to be some shit that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, Again, I'm not I'm not defending of... anything here, but no one saw a pandemic coming. <laughs> no one had in yeah. their like delay boards. When yeah, a but pandemic but happened. even then, it was supposed to come out before the pandemic. Uh, so, it was supposed to come out in April. Yeah, I... that's not before the pandemic. But wasn't it supposed to come out even before then last year? No, no. It got okay. its first date of April. Okay, well, you know that what? That was that, the that's, first that, date that was given to it. Well, you know what? That's fair then that it came out in mm-hmm. April, but there's also been a slew of other games that have yeah. come out after that. Um, so, so if they even if they were sticking to that original April timeline, it still would have been more than feasible. Well, it's yeah. also not about that. It's about moving to the work from home model. Yeah. Some some companies did it super easy. Blizzard did it easier than like most companies did, as an example. Mm-hmm. But it's like some some companies. Like a lot of Japanese companies, they never had to do this. So for them, mm-hmm. it took a while to yeah, fully a lot of them, get the groove of like working from home. And for a lot of those employees, they don't have the space at mm-hmm. home to work at home. Right. So um, like, so like a lot of stuff. Like, yeah, wow, Shadowlands got delayed because of working from home. But all in all, a company like Blizzard, they were able to start working from home a lot faster than most co- developers were. I think. I think Bungie was the same thing. Like there were some studios who were able to do it within either a couple of weeks or like a month, but there were some studios where it took longer. And again, mm. I'm not defending any any no. anybody because that's my last side the thing I would ever want to do. But I think there was a lot of factors mm. here that yeah. could make sense why they couldn't make that April date. Because I, again, no one yeah. saw a pandemic and the working from home thing <laughs> is is a lot harder. Also, I, there's I've also seen some speculation that maybe Stadia. Um, for for this for this God for this delay it, Google. <laughs> of like of like, hey, Stadia is actually harder to deal with than we thought, and, and, we're, and we're good everywhere else. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's always Google's fault. It's always Google's fault. I, I I think what both of you said is like incredibly a hundred percent valid, mm-hmm. but I, but but specifically with Cyberpunk, so wait, I don't I don't so want to give them. It's always Google's fault. Is that 100% <laughs> oh absolutely? I'm fine with that. I'm one hundred. Yes. Hey hey. Can... <laughs> I, no, never mind. Let's, but yeah, let's I, let's I, I don't want to talk about Google Play Music. We can just keep going. I, I don't want to give uh, Cyberpunk too much of a leeway because, uh, as reported, they've been crunching for for years at this point. Absolutely, it's not, it's not, yeah. it's not just oh, like yeah. a recent thing. So absolutely. it's, it, it, it's no, absolutely right. uh, poor production management. But uh, I, yeah, yes, COVID I was has just absolutely commenting on the fact like when you works. give dates after like dates before a pandemic, you really don't have like. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think whole, this... like can they make that date yes or no pandemic gets thrown it into the mix oh fuck like it's i think the studio that actually got off the best with the uh with the whole pandemic thing i think was probably doom eternal that came out like a week or two after the yep. uh, lockdown started yeah so, so they, well, they must have been like wiping their brows the like oh damn brawls of that and then also companies like Bungie and Blizzard, who instantly went to a work from home model even before all this stuff happened, and they seemed to get it done pretty quickly. Like they were on top of it. Like I think, I, I know Blizzard sent home like equipment with their faculty as soon as this whole thing happened. Like they sold, like they, like they literally like filled people's cars with like the equipment and like let them go home. So it's oh, like no. I feel like there were some companies who like like you said, Doom, Animal Crossing coming out. 
Like, I feel like there were some companies who were easy to get this yeah. into, and then others who were like, oh, shit, what yeah. do we do? We've we've never had to do this. Based on all reports, Nintendo got hit hard mm-hmm. by the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember um, reading that, too. Yeah, Pikmin 3 was supposed to come out in, like, June or Ooh. something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's a big oof yeah um g- going back to the cyberpunk th- thing and then we can we can move on from that um in an investor meeting following the preceding announcement of the delay uh c project try, try um, to pronounce that name <laughs> go ahead co- uh, i will try uh co-ceo of cd project red adam kasinski i think Kaczynski? Kis- Kaczynski? Like, I don't, i'm polish and i don't fucking know the because because it, it is k-i-c-i-n-s-k sir yeah. if you are somehow watching Kisin- this we are so sorry we're sure that you're like a nice person be, we're just fucking up here, right? I, I, I mean I, I mean we can judge his his morality based off the story well yeah uh, but like i i as i feel bad like mispronouncing people's Kikinsi? names so i'm sorry dude if you're somehow listening Co-CEO of CD if Project Red, Adam. The just, just say Adam. <laughs> just Adam. Co-CEO of <laughs> CD Project Red, Adam, stated that work conditions and crunch at the studio were, quote, <laughs> not that bad and never worse. <laughs> oh. S- some people have been crunching heavily, but a large part of the team isn't crunching at all. It's mostly about QA and engineers and programmers. That's a lot of and- people, though. Yeah. It is a lot of fucking people. And, yeah. uh, and-, and following this investor call, Adam sent a company-wide email apologizing for these comments, saying, I had not wanted to comment on Crunch, yet I still did, and I did it in a demeaning and harmful way. What I said was not even unfortunate, it was utterly bad. I mean, I mean, at least he learned from his mistake. I mean, yeah, but it's like, it still shouldn't have <laughs> happened like, the oh. first way. So it's like, if you're making, if you're having people crunch, mm. it's like, maybe don't put salt in the wound. It's Don't say yeah. it's bad to worse. Like, oh, God. Like that bad just Adam. that <laughs> bad Adam. We can't pronounce your last name, and we're sorry about that. I, I sincerely apologize for that part, Adam. <laughs> People are gonna be so fucking confused. Could be like, wait, what, Adam? But no, it's because it's like I've again. You guys have dealt with crunch more than I have. I've never, unless you count like Jose, unless you count our college days from like a oh, shit finals two in like a day. The, you count, know what? Like, I work on this. When I transferred over to San Francisco from uh, from Maloney College, I actually got into a really good groove of like if I got a paper assigned to me that that was due in a month, I would do it the day it got assigned. I'd, I'd get I would get that shit out of the way so quick. At Maloney, I was bad. I would do it like literally the morning of. Yeah, I was never like that, but I, I, I mean, especially finals, working on like three twenty five plus scripts at a time, it was definitely crunch feeling, and I never want to do that again. But it's like at the same time, I, I, I'm with you. I don't believe crunch should exist in the industry at all with the whole mental and physical like mess ups it can do to people. The fact that studios are talking about it in such a way where it's like, oh, not everybody's doing it as then they name half mm-hmm. of their studio. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's not good and it can really mentally fuck up people. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys remember hearing about like, uh, people from Rockstar crunching on R- R- Red Dead, and people from Naughty Dog crunching on The Last of Us. Like it can fuck people up, and I definitely think that crunch is something that should not exist in the in the industry. And we talked about this before. It's like, oh, you can enjoy a studio's games, but also be able to criticize them. And I think this is a great example of it because I'm I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited for Cyberpunk, but at the same time, I will throw shade and shit towards CD Projekt as they continue to crunch their staff and continue to force work, make them work like 60 plus hours a week. Like what the fuck to, to build off that. Um, let, let's, let's use like the, the last of us choose an example. I would get rid of so much of that polish and like attention to like details that most people don't even notice. I would do away with that. If it meant people got actual decent working hours and they didn't have to deal with crunch. Like you look at a, a game series, like a uh, Yakuza where like basically any character that isn't central to the plot basically has a potato PS3 looking face. And uh, if that's, if that's what we have to deal with in order to, to get proper working conditions, I'm fine. I'll, I'll deal with the potato faces. 
Mesa probably knows what I'm talking about. You'll just like yeah. run into a random NPC. They just like, it, it's not like polygonal, but you know. Hmm. <laughs> well, you got, you got, you got, um, low LOD Mario running around. <laughs> oh, That's still in the Switch port, too. I, I, I love low LOD Mario. You love him? It's, Absolutely. but it's, but it's get- definitely, I think this whole cult, this crunch culture thing has also brought to light just how culty some people can be around studios absolutely where they seem to again not not like again you can like something but also criticize it but there are people who will like paint a studio as if they can do no no wrong like oh they're 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 crunching yeah it sucks but you can't overwork people in poland or like something along isn't it like they're getting like overtime think, pay or something i think i think in poland technically under the law your uh employees are not allowed to work more than 48 hours but obviously that's not been the case i swear it was something and like i said someone correct me i swear it was something along the lines of if you work overtime you have to get paid a certain amount if right. i remember again someone correct me i may be polish but not about polish laws <laughs> um uh, they do I get paid for overtime he, there yeah, I swear, like, that was what, that was how people were, like, defending them. Was saying, like, oh, yeah, it sucks they're working overtime, but they're actually getting paid for working overtime. And, yeah, getting extra pay is good. I mean, I'm sure all three of us can say getting extra pay is good. Yeah, but at the def- same time, getting extra pay by working fucking more than 48 hours a week is not good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, that shit ain't worth it. Like, I mean, your mental and physical health is not worth that extra however the hell amount you're getting exactly and it's just like the fact that because like cd project red makes enough money any anyway they get money from the polish government because they're like poland's biggest video games studio i I remember which is um, cool like being like a gem of your industry in a country that surprisingly doesn't have a lot of video game companies is great i think that's amazing you do you but at the same time if you're making that much money you can use some of that money to like i don't know maybe hire more staff so that i was actually listening to a podcast that that was um that was specifically Mm -hmm. talking about that and this actually goes back to uh proper product management uh so let's say if they need to add like another three weeks of crunch right um bringing on new hires specifically to help with that can actually serve as more of a detriment because you have to get people up to speed and that slows oh, okay. down your yes. current Sorry. workers. But Sorry, no, 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 you are, you yeah. are still, you are still right because Absolutely. what needs to happen, those new hires need to be brought on earlier. Before not crunch. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. They need to be brought on earlier in the process. So you, mm-hmm. you're, you're still right, Sarah. Yeah. Um, Cause I don't want to seem like I'm speaking out of my butt. Cause that's yeah. the last thing I want to do. Cause uh, big dummy mode is not activated. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, like, I know nothing about the industry, but at least to me, one of the things, a company like that making enough money as they do and constantly getting grants from the government, just hire yeah. more people, have more people working from home, have more people, like, what's the word, um, not just from the studio, like, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's just a heavy topic, and... The way it's been perceived is you need to like handle the topic wearing like heat resistant gloves or something. <laughs> like, it's, like it's really yeah. I'm still not blocked by Schreier, so I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, he blocked me a while ago. It's fucking fine. <laughs> Wait, I you're blocked care. by him? Hell yeah! I am. What'd you do? Defending Paris. Damn, I I want to check Twitter right now. <laughs> uh, just an interesting tidbit before I do that. Um, uh, po- the Polish government is actually incredibly fucking proud of CG Project Red. I believe they had, I don't know if it was Obama. It was some it other. Was Obama. They was gave it Obama? They Obama Witcher too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like you're shitting me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're just like, hey, look, this is what our country's proud of. This, this. Well, because so my tattoo artist, she's actually from Poland, and from what she's told me, the Witcher over there is like Lord Lord of the Rings or like. Game, yeah. even though it's not even made in America, it's like Game Game of Thrones or like Lord of the Rings to us. How like I'm, that was such a big fantasy thing for us growing up, or for us now. That's how the Witcher books were in Poland. Like like the Witcher's yeah. series is considered like a national treasure. 
mm-hmm. in Poland, especially now that the very obviously well done Netflix show has gotten as big as it has, and the games that are really fucking good, it's considered like a huge treasure over there yeah. so i can understand weirdly enough i can understand them giving president obama the witcher. <laughs> i couldn't even give him the witcher thing. it wasn't well, no, it, was, yet. it was not yet it was not yet yeah oh, okay i was like they couldn't even yeah. give him the okay witcher yeah they gave him witcher too because they're, they're, they're so proud of it um which i mean see it's really hard because I don't know. It's just a lot. Uh, just to cut in real quick, uh, I am not blocked by Jason, so I, I am happy for that. Okay, am, good, good for you. I am blocked by Colin Moriarty, which I am proud of. Good, good. <laughs> get in, get get him out. But no, I just think this whole topic is so extremely hard to talk about, but it also brought up, like I mentioned earlier, the whole liking something, but also criticizing it debate, which has recently come out. I think it's important to just not have. Uh, I I think the thing I bring it bring this up uh, up with most is probably like when people talk about consoles. Like I don't have fucking loyalty to shit. I'm me gonna neither. go and see whatever gives mm-hmm. me the gives me the most benefits or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like 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 fuck loyalty. If you do good, I'm gonna praise you. If you do, if you fuck up, I'm gonna call you out on it. Yeah. Like even me, like like I'm a little Nintendo drone, but. Um, you know, I'm here, like, I'll sit up, I'll, I'll sit up PlayStation, Xbox, PC, I don't care. I just want to play the video game. You uh, silly let, pony. Will you let me play the video game? You right, X-Bot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 